Bugs is out of jail on $150,000 bail. The police say that he had signs of impairment and that his blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit. The officers say that he was also driving right around 156 miles per hour before the crash. And that crash killed 23 year old Tina Tintor. Let's get right to anchor Ross Diamante, who is at the growing memorial tonight for her. Ross. Yeah, Todd and Trisha, it's really been an amazing show of support. You know, all day long, we've seen a steady stream of people stopping by this memorial for Tina Tintor. They've been dropping off flowers and candles, balloons, pictures, and just stopping to take in this scene. And what's incredible is I asked a lot of them, did you know Tina personally? And not one of them said they had a personal connection. They just felt compelled to come out here and pay their respects in person. Now, earlier today, I talked to Tina's father for a few minutes. He's Serbian and he doesn't speak much English, but he made it perfectly clear he's not quite ready to speak publicly about about his daughter's death, understandably. The Tintor family, though, did release a statement through their attorney saying, quote, Tina's tragic loss has devastated her family beyond a grief they could ever comprehend. Family was everything to Tina, and she was the light of her parents' life. Tina lived in Las Vegas since she was a baby. She loved her three-year-old golden retriever, Max, who passed along, away alongside her Tuesday morning. The Tintor family appreciates privacy as they mourn. May Tina rest in peace. Back out here live, Goran Glavis, the president of St. Simeon Serbian Orthodox Church, says there's going to be a service this Sunday for Tina at the church with a fundraiser to follow for her family, raising money to help them cover the costs of the funeral, and that will be open to the public. And I just want to add that we did go to Henry Ruggs' home today. We wanted to give the former Raiders player a chance to tell his side of the story, but we were greeted by someone at the door, not, don't know who it was, and immediately told that we were trespassing and to leave immediately before they called the police on us. So we did respect that and we left. And just one